does make sense, did that not make sense? Oh. <laughs> a simple man making his way through the galaxy. Let's start the show. And welcome. Uh, this is episode 19. Uh, I am joined by my co-hosts, Paul and Tommy. How's it going, guys? What's hey, up? Guys. What's up, Eddie? What's up, guys? So, you'll notice Paul looks a lot like better with the camera because... Uh, He's got a, not well, really. it's not a new one, but it's 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 he's just like a lot sharper compared to us. We're not he's not using a webcam like the rest of us. So um, we're gonna try to make this a fast podcast because he's running off battery. So if we kind of <laughs> just jump from stuff to stuff, that's kind of why. Even though we kind of do that that's already. Uh, so yeah, um, uh, I was gonna say oh, Falcon and Winter Soldier came out uh, last weekend, or yeah, last weekend. Uh, right after the Snyder Cut. So um, we'll talk about that. And then there's some other interesting stuff happened Xbox-wise. We're kind of behind on that stuff too. So we'll try to just cut through that. Because um, old stuff, like, I think two weeks ago, maybe? When was that roundtable? Like, two weeks ago or a week ago? Does anybody remember? About a week ago. About a week ago. It was, like, two weeks ago. Yeah. So we're going to talk about that for a little bit. And then there's an article that came out yesterday um, about what Xbox is going to do. And then, what else did I say? Oh, um, Black Widow uh, has now a release date again, but it's a final one, hopefully. And, um, yeah, I'm probably missing something, but we'll jump to that anyway. So, um, really fast, we'll go through the gaming stuff. Uh, the roundtable. So, what do you guys think now that Xbox will have their own exclusive studio going forward? That's pretty much what the roundtable came out. They they need it, so uh, with their stuff that's going to be on Game Pass and being exclusive, I think it's something that's needed for them, um, just to show more value within Game Pass. So I think it's a good thing for for their uh, system, except for the Xbox Network name. Yeah, I was going to say now their their name is changing Xbox Network, so some people think they're copying yeah. Sony in that regard since it's PlayStation Network and now Xbox Network. So, yeah. Tommy, you want yeah. something, you have something to say about that? Sorry, shaking your head. Um, just the name change is kind of like whatever. Like it doesn't it doesn't mean anything to to like the average person. So it's just whatever. Um, as far as the Beth- Bethesda pickup and the games being exclusive, um, I think it's a good thing. Like so, like if Sony would have acquired a studio like that or um publisher like that, they would have. They there would be no question that they would all their games would be exclusive to Sony. So it's been an Xbox nature with um with Minecraft and some other titles to let them go to Nintendo Switch and um, PlayStation. So I, it's a good thing. They need to like be firm with that. They need to have, like hold their ground and and make people be a part of their um, ecosystem. So do you think that Microsoft loses money by not licensing it out to Sony anymore though? Or do you think they make more um, money in the long run? Because the only way to get it be- now is PC um, or Xbox or your phone if you're using Game Pass. Yeah, they're trying to they're trying to funnel everything to to Game Pass or Game Pass Ultimate. So that's what they're. I think that's what their their long term goal is is to make that like the premier. They're trying to make it like a Netflix kind of yeah. thing. I, I believe. So I think that's by if if they would license out their games to Sony and Switch, or Nintendo. Then it would um, depreciate the value of Game Pass, I think. So yeah, for sure. Or the value of the, the, the thing of Game Pass. Like I said, if if Nintendo or or Sony would acquire Bethesda, there would be no question that all their games would be on those platforms. So they need a they need to be strong, stop being like bending up backwards, letting their their t- titles go to other consoles. So Minecraft yeah. Minecraft's a, a unique um, situation where that game was. Multi-platform, and I think they—I think I've heard something in this, like that they said they make like five hundred million a year based yeah. on that Minecraft title, with the microtransactions and sales and stuff like that. So it was the—I so, yeah. think the start of the Fortnite like type games. Yeah. So, um, is there a particular like game you guys are excited to to try from them or play in particular? 
Paul's not really a Paul's a J, JRPG guy. So no, I know, but I'm just saying because well, I mean, I know, I know he's trying to get an Xbox, which is hard to get right now. I like PlayStation, but yeah, That's nothing, our... nothing off the top of my head for like the first couple months of its release. So, um, obviously, like when Halo and the uh, like Gears of War comes out, then I'll, I'll for sure get get those in terms of the exclusives. But as of right now, I don't think that there's anything really. I know Medium mm-hmm. came out and. As far as uh, what's called, they said that was a pretty good game. I've seen some gameplay from yeah. Medium, um, but yeah, that's probably one of the games that I would probably try out. Tommy, anything? Um, I still haven't tried their new Doom. I still haven't played the old Doom, so there's a there's a, I I started Wolfenstein. Um, as far as what's coming out that I know of, I've heard things about Starfield that, that intrigues me. Actually, I haven't heard anything about it. I just know that's their new um, IP that's coming out uh, hopefully later this year. So I think they announced... Um, I don't think they announced... I, I heard some rumors that they're going to have like a E3 type event later this summer. And hopefully at that event, they'll announce some new titles that we haven't heard of. So including maybe share some more information about Starfield and some other stuff like that. Yeah. So, but yeah, I, I, like I told you, like Bethesda... Um, I've never been a fan of Fallout or any of their um, more. I've never played. I'm not. I'm not an RPG type guy, so I have never really played Morrowind or Elder Scrolls or any of those games. Yeah. So um, that's just not my cup of tea. I'm more of the third person action, like the Arkham series, uh, Gears of War, first person shooter. Um, I'm, I played a few of the Halo games, so I'm more in that realm. I'm surprised. Still like, need to get Doom. Doom isn't up your alley. Or is... Um, that probably I would be like it. the one that would be like closest to what you play i have it it's just it's yeah I have my backlog, backlog. yeah my backlog is freaking uh, ridiculous uh, right now so. yeah i need to get i still want to get the ps5 i still want to get I, the, the game i'm i want to get to next is uh miles morales and i want to play through uh ghost of shizima on the ps5 and finish uh god of war on there as, as well so those those are my like my the what i'm aiming to get to next oh so. And I powered oh, yeah. up my PlayStation uh, today because I fixed the uh, I fixed the issue now. So I did change the HDMI cable. So it was HDMI cable that was giving me that issue. So actually, I'm using 2.1s right now. So they're kind of cool. Um, okay, but, cool. But um, yeah, I powered my PlayStation te- on and like I looked at all the games that I haven't played on PlayStation itself. It's a lot, a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. You got a TV that's HDMI 2.1 compatible? No, I just no? got the cables because they were because the cables that I had originally bought they were still 2.0, but um, I guess the, it was because of the length they were like kind of messing up since I changed them so so much to change to record from the Super Nintendo, the Xbox, and the PlayStation. It was causing okay. I thought my PlayStation was uh, gonna brick itself. How it like was it detecting um, the screen and it would only detect it when I put it in 1.4, like my HDMI setting. So okay. Um, okay. But no, nah, it was just the cable, because when I used the original cable that I had on it before, it was fine. So then I changed the cable out today, and I tried it, so it's fine. But I just got 2.1, so just when I'm ready for when I do get a TV. Yeah, we need we need to have a discussion about that, like, as far as... I've been, I've been wanting to watch some YouTube videos on the the Sony OLED and then the, the LG OLED. So yeah, that, that, that guy you got me uh, watching his tech stuff, the Don't Stop the FOMO guy. Um, yeah, 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 he did yeah. a video where TCL, uh, their technology is above Samsung right now. Oh wow! Yeah, and we don't have it in the U.S. though. It's like the one in China, but like oh, okay, they're, okay. they're they're considered like he says they're they're like now the number two would be right now or yeah. based off of I guess still he said the uh, I have to double check, but I guess the nine nine hundred J is gonna mm. be like the flagship TV for this year, so. We'll I got two. I got two TCLs. I think I got a 2018 and a 2019. So I don't. I have, think a 20, um, I have a 2017. So. Yeah, I don't. I think I got those years. I'm not uh, 100 percent on what year I got, but they're cool. They're cool for the meantime. I think both of your TVs I do, are 2019. I do. I do miss my OLED that I gave to my sister. So. Damn. Um, and you gave her I a think B, I want, You gave her a B, didn't you? I think it was the C or the B. Not the one without the speaker. But you got it was a B like a B eight or was it a or was it a nine? Not, what year was it, Paul? What, what year did I buy that? Twenty seven. Right now 20... it's a C ten. So... Well, yeah, no, 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 no. The one he has though. I know he didn't have a ten, but I don't know if he oh. had a nine or an eight. 
I know you helped me with it. I don't think I don't I don't think either of us remember. I don't know if it was the eight I or the nine. Think I, Might be the eight. Might did the I eight. help you? Yeah, you did. You were there. It was you. You were my salesman. I don't I don't remember. Damn. <laughs> yeah. It was Tell a seven. Me, you or, weren't was, a memorable transaction. <laughs> yeah. The seven or I know we we didn't we didn't cause a ruckus. It's because you were so simple and you knew what you wanted, so there's nothing yeah. memorable about it. There was a, I remember there was a Sony rep there trying to sell me on the the 900, I think. And I, I just, when you did the side-by-side -side comparison, um, and then all the research I did, I was just, there was no comparison with the OLED. Well, the OLED gaming, next the OLED, level. The OLED was, it is still yeah. up there, but. But, but now, I mean, that. now the, now they're, they're even better with the, the new, the new line, the C1s, the Sony, the Sony's line of OLED. They're just, the, the motion's way better. The picture's way better. It's the brighter. Sony's so. brighter, but the money dude i can't just spend four grand and the 55 I know, inches i think i think too mm -mm. yeah i'm making gotta, that big money no more out. so <laughs> we gotta start a, we gotta start if our I only tv i would get the uh the short throw projectors i think those are pretty pretty dope the short throw projectors yeah they have like a clean refresh rate too yeah, there's like yeah. no input lag either, yeah. and you can go maybe 120 inches. That's crazy. I don't I know. Have that, I need, those, I I need to get a. If I did that, I'd need to get a screen and everything. That's a whole different setup <laughs> yeah. too. Uh huh. Because then I'd want one of them fancy setups so that when like you come in my room, it's like, oh, I just didn't even have a doesn't even have a TV. Boom! Boom. Button comes <laughs> down. <and> then... <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right. Um. So the other thing that is kind of I just want you guys to input like if you kind of care I'm kind of like whatever like I don't see the huge big deal about them supposedly buying this but I guess Xbox might be in talks to get or they're in talks and uh, it's just confirmed if Discord will sell to them but they're gonna I guess buy Discord. Do you guys have an opinion on that? Like I really don't see the big deal. That's why maybe like talking to you guys I, I'll get the bigger picture but I I don't understand the like freak out from people. I don't see anything really huge on that one. Just I mean, because... we use it for the podcast that's what we're on right now. So, yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. unless that affects us in that regard, I don't really know. I think it's kind of cool, at least for Microsoft, to having a, uh, what's it called, uh, another version of, like, Teams, I guess, so that you can kind of do your, your your chats and all that stuff. And this is like a... But they already uh, have Skype, called? so that's official? why I'm confused. It's like an official version for, like like a, a demographic in a sense, but I, it, to me it doesn't really matter too much because all I think about is Mixer and how that kind of went. Like, they, they made a, a Mixer uh, their streaming platform and then what happened to it, it's gone. So it, I don't think it's going to go that route, but I don't know. It, it's it's kind of interesting that they're trying to get Discord. Um, I mean, I guess, I guess it, yeah. it's, it, they are trying to branch out, but I mean, because the other company that does a lot of branching out and then disable stuff is google how many google things sure. have come out and then you're like oh like that that gaming one stadia apparently they already there's a rumor that they already stopped like kind of supporting that already i think it for first party gaming for stadia but i think they're still doing uh all the other other games and stuff apparently it was the uh, only good way to run uh cyberpunk or yeah, is the only good way to run Cyberpunk right now. No, for, for real, dude. Like it had, it was like not laggy. People are saying that it plays super clean. Yeah. Chromecast Ultra and a fucking TV. That's why you need. Yeah. All I know is launch was not the greatest. Oh, yeah, they they don't really market very well, unfortunately. No. So. It just Stadia didn't take off just because it the with the input lag and all that, and then not really owning your games like if you buy a game digitally on playstation or an xbox it's 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 connected to your gamer tag forever you could delete it and re-download it and stuff like that where well, stadium was just degree. Not, kinda... not, not, not. that scott pilgrim yeah. the original one was uh an exception to that rule because if you uh, deleted it and tried to go get it oh. again it was it was gone that's why i had to repeat yeah. really yeah so oh wow i didn't know that so um yeah so um also, did you want to talk about Switch? Like, the whole Switch rumors, and then um, we could go back on Xbox and talk about the, um, the was it, the flame, the frame rate boost? I guess you guys are oh, yeah, familiar frame, with that. Or frame rate? Well, yeah, with the, with, yeah. Where, it's, where it's got the, which it's nothing software related, it's just hardware. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah we can. I mean, it's all a matter of if, uh, Paul's battery uh, makes it through. We're going, we're going pretty quick okay. right now, so. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Um, but you know, I mean, do you have anything concrete though? Because it's just like rumors at this point. That's why, because we kind of, kind of touched about the Switch Pro or the Super Switch is what we would like it to be called. That's what we, I hope it'd be called. Uh, I don't think it's official concrete because uh, obviously nothing from Nintendo. Um, I don't even think there's we no know until E3. Right. That, that would actually, probably make sense because they were going to probably release it during the fall, so uh, E3 would be a good time for them to do any announcement But, like, I'm trying to think, does, like, Nintendo normally... Because Nintendo usually just has their Nintendo Directs, so... Exactly. Would, would they even and do they something at E3, it. or would they do one around E3? I don't they would do one around E3, just to compete with uh, the PlayStation ones and then, the, of course, the Xbox stuff. Okay, you said there's nothing concrete, but I think the latest rumor was from Bloomberg, and they're kind of talking <laughs> more about it. But you just said it right there, rumor. <laughs> yeah, that is. That yeah, is no, so. but it's from a, it's from a more credible source. That's what I mean. So, and they say in all signs point to um, something announced later on, like you said, a um, like E three type event, and then like you said, a fall release. And I see it's pretty promising. They're talking about maybe a hundred, a hundred to two hundred dollars more, anywhere from a hundred, hundred fifty, two hundred dollars. Like from that's like two ninety nine right now. So either. Three nine nine, four fifty, or or four nine nine. So, and then resell like price at nine hundred dollars. Oh yeah, most likely. <laughs> well, we'll see no, if. Right. Uh, speaking of resell, if next week, because um, they're pulling the Mario game off of the Nintendo Shop, the Mario All Star, that's gonna get mm-hmm. pulled. Okay. So we'll see if that has a, a freaking scalper right now. So I don't know if you yeah. have any physical ones still in. Uh, and Best Buy Paul, but I'm um, pretty, pretty sure, sure people are going to start buying those and then turn around and selling them for like double the price, so like 120 bucks, some shit like that. I haven't checked. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Um, but uh, where, where was that that uh, that render that you sent us on Instagram? The where the oh, color I, scheme I was like on, Super Nintendo. I found it on on Twitter, like when all the all the news about Nintendo Switch Pro and all that stuff. I saw somebody make a render for the Super Nintendo Switch, where it was like the original gray color with the purple highlights and stuff. It looks so clean. Like they need to do it. I, I mean, that'd be that'd be cool. It's ironic because yeah. like I, when he got the Switch like a couple months ago. Yeah. So <laughs> it'd be pretty fucking ironic if they already announced the Switch Pro and I just got it and I I played it religiously for like. Yeah, the day like two months I was playing Animal Crossing and then Christmas came and I bought all the cards for it haven't touched it since <laughs> I'm almost there with you like the only games that I have are Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker which I like um what other game I downloaded all all my favorite Final Fantasies just as a Final Fantasy machine so <laughs> that's kind of about it so far yeah I mean I would probably use the emulator on it more too but i you know i i hacked my super nintendo classic so (laughs) i have that just for that but we'll see i mean there is some stuff i mean i still uh i have it i just haven't like gone to play it um but smash brothers i'll still play that but yeah i I don't know i'm trying to think like what would make me buy a super super uh nintendo switch if they actually make that the name um, besides nostalgia, because I never actually got a Super Nintendo as a kid, I really don't know. Yeah. Uh, Mario Kart and um, Super Smash Brothers. That's what that's what everybody yeah, but, but but as far yeah. as Super Smash Brothers goes, it, they're not gonna make another one. That's I what that's what, what they what said. Like you see, that's why they threw all these fighters in, and there's constant um, updates for it. Like this was this was uh, deemed the last Super Smash Brothers. I think they announced a new technology that allows the games to play in 4K at, at a higher frame rate as well. So um, it's something called DLSS. I'm not too I'm not too techy, but that's a that's a new tech they're putting in. It's um I think it's developed by Nvidia. Mm. So that's the new tech they're talking about um, putting in, in into the new uh, Super Nintendo Switch Pro or whatever they're going to call it. So um, they're talking about um, replacing the the screen with the OLED screen, so they're they're talking about some some pretty good improvements. So, Which is just kind of funny um, though, because in no offense to Nintendo, but Nintendo's never been like a graphic savvy 
company. It's all about gameplay, which is which is what I think is is a good motto. But I've just never associated them with like awesome graphics. Yeah, you know, the console's still in 1080p and and by default plays in 30 frames per second. You have to there's like mods and at and accessories people have made to make it play at 60 or 2K and stuff like that. Back in the day, they were though like it, between like when it was um, Sega and Nintendo. Super Nintendo was more powerful than the Sega Genesis. So, and then up until Nintendo 64, where they were competing against um, uh, PlayStation, I think they're more powerful. It's, it's just the the PlayStation allowed the game to be played in 3D or something like that. But they're all right on par with PlayStation at that time. And then it wasn't until GameCube came out that GameCube was underpowered compared to PlayStation 2 and then the original Xbox. So, I don't know what ha- I know. It's it's cool that they focus on gameplay, but be by them being underpowered, they they lose out on third party games. Like like um, EA hasn't put a Madden out on a uh, Nintendo console since maybe the Wii U. I think it's been a while. Like it's been a while well, since. I say um, probably the Wii. I don't remember one being on Wii U. Maybe maybe the Wii. Uh, it's been a while. Like to, there's there's games that just won't play on a Nintendo console because they're not on par with the Xbox and PlayStation. So I wonder what happened where. I guess they're just they're they're going for that 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 kid market where they don't care they they're they're trying to make an affordable console but like with lack of power compared to the their competition so yeah I would like to see Nintendo come out with a like a a pro system that competes with um, Xbox and PlayStation you can actually play games on like across all platforms and see what would happen then you know so they still sell a lot though yeah they do well yeah they're yeah. So, but that's what's kind of holding me back from getting the Switch right now because the rumors of the new Nintendo Switch Pro. I was like, uh, I kind of miss playing Nintendo games. I kind of want to get it, but um, if they're gonna come out with a new console, I'd just rather wait for the new one. So yeah, I'm still waiting for the and then, Prime game. Yeah, and as far as like Xbox with that um, that frame rate boost, that's pretty cool as well. Like it allows you to play old games at at a higher frame rate, 60 and up, 30 and up, or whatever. Yeah. So you have the option. In of some going cases, back if, you're, if your TV rate. can't support it, it'll be 120. Yeah. So I've heard that as and well. And that's cool because so. it's not and like the developers didn't have to do anything. It's just the hardware itself will just. And it yeah, you know. it's a free upgrade. You don't have to pay for anything. So it's a it's a cool like, cool thing for the fans to go back and play old games at a higher frame rate. So. so. Never Definitely. haven't tried it yet, but. I haven't got an Xbox Series X yet, but we'll see. Same. We'll see. I mean, as far as that goes, though, like the, I mean, they seem to be restocking a lot better now, as opposed to like, you know, when they first released it on like November. But um, I know it's just nearly still impossible, and the, the scalper market is is ridiculous. Yep. I, yeah, I don't feed into that market. I actually. just, don't, I don't. I mean, like somehow, someone is though, because like. At this point, like people, it's it's like relatively known that everybody fucking hates the scalpers, but yet they're like yeah. they're not getting the consoles, and they seem to be selling them enough to be still doing it. Because if it was, if nobody was buying these, they just have shit that's sitting there, like they want to move it, so then they would start dropping their prices to be more retail friendly. But it's still a broken system. Like I don't, I don't. Yeah, they got to figure out a way to to put a stop to that because it's preventing people like us from getting the consoles that we want. You know. So, but, I, I mean, wish I had a place. I wish I was playing Miles Morales right now. I'm I wouldn't not, even be I'm, podcasting with you guys right now. Yeah, it's all I'll good. Be playing. I don't know. <laughs> um, no, I'm, I like. I, I know it's not like really. I don't know if it is a fair comparison, but Paul, would you compare it to like the shoe, shoe game as far as the scalping goes right now for the consoles, or is that like an over exaggeration? No, I think when it comes to uh, the shoe game, it's more like ninety five percent chance you will not get. The shoe that you want it's uh random drawing even if you're up way early in the morning and then not to mention that of course that big scandal where the the lady's son was taking like a lot of nikes i'm pretty sure that dude stole my mom's kobe so i'm pretty sure so i would say the shoe game is is so messed up compared to the what's it called the video game stuff i think you have a better chance at getting the console you want more than the shoe you want but I, what, what i mean is like, do you think that if they don't regulate the console thing, it can become the shoe thing? Or you don't think that's possible? 
I don't think so, just because there's so many shoes that come out on the weekly. Um, I think I think in terms of the gaming stuff, I think it's just based on production because it's only just really how many SKUs, uh, four SKUs, compared mm-hmm. to one SKU every week or so with which is I think it's they, they have a better chance with with video games and plus the resale uh, it's usually like double for the most part uh, but for the shoes depending on like what type of shoe they could go all the way like an incredible amount what, what, what were you. those what were those shoes that he had like five of they're like a oh the bucks, uh, right? the air max yeah. the back to the future shoes son of a bitch yeah, those were supposed to go for charity also, and oh. he had five of them. Like, well, they went to his charity. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the so, charity yeah. buy more shoes to rip off more people. Pretty much. Yeah. So, no, I, I don't think that the, the shoe game is the same as video games. Well, there you go. Fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh, let's see. In trying to do the crunch time, I'm missing something. What did I hold on? Because now I'm on, I'm on the uh, on the spot here, and now my brain's starting to. Oh yeah, okay, I just saw it right now. Uh, so this, then the Black Widow thing, and then uh, Falcon Winter Soldier. So uh, it happened today, uh, earlier. It's just a, I guess, kind of an official direction for DC, but this movie was kind of already in production, so I don't know if it counts, but they did cast uh, Dr. Fate today, Pierce Brosnan, uh, who I might cause some controversy, is my favorite James Bond. Um, he is uh, going to be Dr. Fate for Black Adam, so uh, he will be in the movie, um, and uh, going forward, Dr. Fate in DC's Extended U. So, do you guys like, have an opinion on it, care, don't care? That's cool. He's a good actor. So it's um, it, no, it wasn't him. There, I was, I was thinking that he might have played that dude in um, Doom Patrol, but it's different. I forgot the guy's name, but it wasn't the Timothy same guy. Dalton? Is that who you're thinking of? I think so. Yeah. Doom Patrol. Yeah. Yeah, there's Timothy Dalton, the uh, the other James Bond. Um, but yeah, no, yeah. no. Um, I think it's cool. I mean, they're they're starting to cast again for it. Uh, so really fast i guess they doubled down on yeah yesterday yesterday one of the days i was editing the podcast we recorded on sunday either monday or tuesday uh wb doubled down saying they're not they're not gonna do anything with the snyder stuff supposedly so we'll see (sighs) but they said they're just happy they're happy that people liked it that they're happy that um it's getting um attention but that they're more excited about the future projects they have going forward, um, and they're not going to reopen that universe. I, I feel kind of torn in between just because of how positive the reception was for the Justice League. Mm-hmm. Um, with, with how good it was and the way that it ended, it almost feels like it is still deserved to have at least either a Justice League 2 or the Snyderverse somehow kind of extend in some way. But I feel like by doing that opens that Pandora box of, okay, so if he did his, get that air cut. And if he did air cut, then you have to do something else. And it just it's just going to keep on going and going with the whole fandom yeah. thing. But it works, but I don't know. I know that Warner Brothers is leaving a lot of money on the table because of... Um, because of this, because they could easily make bank. That, another, another but I, I also feel that from right now, uh, glitch number one, yay, yay for the consistency. So um, what I was saying before this thing cut out and froze is um, I, I'm i not 100% sure that they're going to stick to their guns of saying that they're not going to do anything with this universe, only because they flip-flopped so much before. But from an executive standpoint right now, I guess they're fearful because it's still a gamble. Because maybe they're so scared from like the original takes of the first time they launched it. And then Wonder Woman 80, 84 not being so well received. So maybe they might wait and see what Aquaman 2 ends up doing. 
before they actually decide to continue with the reset button. So we'll see. I just thought it was interesting that um, that the positive uh, news from the weekend and the executives decided to double down instead of like leave it open for interpretation to at least like bait people. But yeah, I'm so you know honestly I'm surprised at. I don't want to say I'm surprised, but I guess I am as at, at the positive feedback of the movie. Like I, I enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed it. But well, like I seven, think we, we seven had to, and seven and a half. That's the ratings we gave. Yeah, like a C. But like people are ranting. Like somebody said, it's gonna change. Cin- One of the the Dan and Nerge guy said it was gonna change cinema, but he's like a Snyder fanboy. So I was just like, it's not really a reliable like critic, I guess. Um, yeah, he I said mean, he liked Joker Point. It, it, it had a fanboy face. Most people at my job that have mentioned it liked it too. Um, the average person that I'm asking that likes superhero movies though said that it it's a it's like a seven, but if it was shorter, it could be like how Paul said it could be like an eight. Some said even nine. It's just it's very long and that it has its thing. But you know, the genre is not perfect, man. It's not there to, to like. There's there's no perfect I, superhero movie. I think they dropped the ball when they when they when they forego making um individual movies and doing the character. I, like I think they yeah. dropped the ball on that and they just try to cram everything into that movie. Like these, it just was well, way that's the too issue. long. I mean I mean they just didn't have a direction and they just they 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 wanted to like cheat. They just wanted I, to throw everyone together and decide you know it'll make a bunch of money. And they probably would have had they gone with his original version, but it, it is what it is, man. His original version was, I mean, it's, I just don't, I don't, like I said, I, I, it, like I said, he either knows the characters and just doesn't care and wants to go in, on his own path, or he doesn't know the characters and wants to go on his own path. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it's one or the other. So, um, maybe it's a little bit I don't, both, like, man. Yeah. So, I mean, you, the only I mean, thing that sucks. Did. I do like the actors that got casted for stuff. Like, I, I do, I do want them to like be able to do their things, with the exception of Amber Heard. I don't care if she gets uh, <laughs> going forward, but that's um, my opinion on that. But yeah, it's whatever, man. Yeah. Let's talk about the other universe that knows what they're doing. So, um, <laughs> uh, MCU today. Well, not just MCU. Disney in general dropped a bunch of release dates for. Movies now, since uh, you know, it's like what they say, twenty five percent of the population is vaccinated now. Um, okay, something like that. Um, I might be throwing the number higher, but or it might have been a state. I don't know. Twenty five was the number I saw percentage wise with vaccine. I don't know if that's. Yeah, but um, what? Scan to computers only. Uh oh. Oh, well, it's a network issue. Uh, for my printer, it's not. It's not important right now. Um, thing. Dimension thought. But the main one that we're going to talk about is Black Widow. So Black Widow was up until today or yesterday uh, was May something. I forget the date now. It's, it's lost in... May 6th or something. something Early like May. That. Yeah. First week of May. But now it is July 7th. So it should work because according to you know, the government July 4th should be where we get to return to normal. If everyone keeps getting vaccinated. So Okay. We'll see how that goes, but uh, July 7th, I'm pretty sure we'll be in the theater because we'll all have been vaccinated, at least on this podcast, so, yeah. 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 Tommy? Oh. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, looking forward to it. Like, I I think it's it's good that they're doing that, uh, pushing it back to a date where we should kind of be back to normal like we have more of a chance to be back to normal at that date than the original may date so um yeah looking forward to it I w- I'm, I'm looking forward to that movie in the sense i i want to see how it's going to tie in going forward in marvel universe you know what i mean with wandavision already out we're watching um we're watching uh Stop falcon and winter, winter soldier. soldier and um loki will have been out by that time i i want to see how black widow ties in with the with the villain tax masker and the characters that are in there as well. So, yeah, kind of look forward to that. Yeah, I think like, I trust, uh, we, we trust, I'm sorry, Paul, we trust Marvel. We trust that they have a path, they have a vision, and they, they, 
they executed way better than what DC is doing right now. So I'm sorry, Paul. Go ahead. I was just gonna say I think it's a smart date. It's not too far out, um, but they also give you that option for the uh, what's called the Disney Disney Plus Premier Premier Access. Premier. Just in case if you're like one of the people who, let's say, have the vaccine and just aren't right. comfortable still going to the theaters to watch it, they still give you that option okay. for thirty dollars and stuff. Um, but they're not taking my thirty dollars now. <laughs> I'm probably gonna be giving my seventeen, whatever it is for the uh, what's called the AMC. Well, if A list gets to come back, it's my twenty five bucks for the month. Yeah, yeah. So even if, even at that price, mm-hmm. yeah, I'll still I'll still do that and probably watch it multiple times in the format that I want to see it in Dolby. So and I'm so possible. <laughs> and in Montana, where you can just probably go from one theater to, to the other and, and that's just switch from IMAX. Oh my god! Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Double feature, man. Heck yeah! <laughs> no, um, no, I'm excited. Um, I surprisingly, well, I mean, I'm not surprised. Uh, the comments on it being available for premium access, people are still upset about it. Why? Because they're... wait, wait, oh, hold up, let me cut you off right there. They're gonna drop it on Disney Plus on premium access as well, yeah, or no? They're doing yeah, both. Same thing. They're doing both in case oh, people are still scared like... to, not, to not go to the theaters. Oh, okay. So some people are, like, mad about it and saying that they that it shouldn't be behind a $30 paywall. And Maybe. I guess from a consumer Actually, side, I do, like, see where people are like, oh, I'm already paying the money. But then mm-hmm. from, like, not from an executive side, because they get a shitload of money, but, like, the people that worked on the film, like, in order for them to get a cut, the movie has to make a profit. So it's like... Go ahead. Like, you know, if you want the, this stuff to keep going as far as, like, Marvel stuff goes, because they're not cheap-ass movies, they have yeah. to have, a turn, like, a return. Not saying that Raya the Last Dragon was a cheap movie either, but I don't know. I guess I just, like, I guess I didn't... That part didn't hit my brain until, like, reading the comments for this when someone said that, like, well... Like, one of the comments said that, like, Disney really doesn't owe you anything to make it for free. Like, it's it, it's something they made with the intention of making money. And the revenue that this makes also pays the people. And I'm like, oh, shit, that's true. Like, all the other people that, yeah. like, how are they going to get paid? So, yeah, that's just, just that's how I feel when people get mad about it. But, you know. shape. But I will say, Scott Pilgrim comes out first. That's yes. uh, a big test for the theater. Well, for us, anyway, if you guys want to go, I'm down. Like, I'm totally... I'm just waiting for you guys to get your second doses. <laughs> exactly. so, just, waiting. just waiting. April 30th, Dolby Vision. Yep. We can go to Montclair. We, we can go to Victoria Gardens. I don't care. Go to Ontario. I just want to I'm go thinking, to I'm, I'm, um, I'm thinking Montclair. Just, it sounds nice. It sounds brand new. Like those fresh... Those fresh... Uh, that new car smell, like I'm, I want to go to that new theater. So. I think that'd be dope. Yep. Yeah. Dolby and IMAX in that theater? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because I looked but it I, up, I, like, I, when I was looking up for movie times the other day, just to see, like, because I was like, oh, well, see, let's let, like, if I were to go to movies now, what would I, what would I go see? And then I'm like, wait, Montclair? And it says, Mon- I think it's called Montclair AMC 12. Yeah. So, and oh, then I was fun. like, what the hell? And then I'm like, oh, shit. And then, and then, like, it's, uh, it, it. There's nothing right now, but it says when I read, like clicked on it, it said Dolby and IMAX. I'm like, oh shit. Yep. That's sick. Mm-hmm. So if you live in California, in the Inland Empire, AMC Montclair is where it's gonna be at. No, no. If you're in the Inland Empire, you go to the one in Ontario. You just anybody who's <laughs> listening to this uh, this uh, podcast, you go to Ontario. Uh, to go to Montclair. Everybody else, you go to Ontario. Yeah. yeah. True, 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 true. Sounds good. Um, but yeah, so I mean, that was just that. Uh, I'm trying to think, the other Disney movie that I'm excited about that's coming out is the Ryan Reynolds one, Fall Guy. So now it'll be August for that guy, August 10th. I, I forgot about that one. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so I wonder, like, they, I don't think they're gonna do that anytime soon. As far as require vaccinations, they're not gonna do that because the thing is, when you go to a movie theater, you're I guess for vaccinated it should be fine, but being in the theater with other people that aren't vaccinated or like anti-vaxxers would be kind of like the uh, something else I have to deal with, you know? Yeah, that's start wearing a lanyard like card on it. That's gonna be anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, don't laminate it though. Apparently, I guess uh, don't do that in case for some reason they come out and saying we need to get a booster shot. I guess that's why there's more room on that card. Makes sense. Ah. But um. Yeah, so with that said, 
um, to save Paul's battery as well, we will just jump to Falcon and Winter Soldier. So, the uh, first episode, I thought had an interesting ass name. Um, being the wrestling mark that I am, I, th I thought of the actual faction, the NWO, since it was called New World Order, the first episode. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, first impressions, um, like, what did you guys think, just like, as a, like, first impression of it? Uh, I thought it was generally safe. Like, uh, it's very interesting with those two, but they have yet to meet in the, in the series yet. Mm. But overall, I thought it was a safe episode. Just give you some backstory, or, or not backstory, but just like the fill in the blanks of where they've been from Endgame to where they're going. So I thought it was it was safe. It was cool. One little twist, but I, so far I, I like the, the visual of the, the series. Tommy? Same. It felt like the beginning the beginning sequence of a movie. Like, kind of like, it's, it's kind of going, it's kind of, trying to tell you a story but kind of keeping stuff to itself at the same time like you're trying to figure things out so i enjoyed it actually the action scenes were cool that first opening scene with um Falcon was, was was legit and then delving into the backstory of winter soldier how his past is haunting his future kind of thing and how it's not allowing him to move forward like it's it's pretty cool and how he has a book like how captain america had a book it kind of yeah. ties into um uh uh, the Winter Soldier movie, so um, I enjoyed it. It was really good. I'm looking forward to that. I was looking for more, more. I was looking forward to this one more than I was WandaVision. WandaVision was good, but this is more up my speed, more action, more espionage stuff like that. So I like how they got into like the political realm where they were saying that Hydra got that senator elected. And now she's abusing her power, and that's why he did what he did with that, with that, um, that that uh, gadget he put on her car to kind of get yeah. information out of her and stuff. Yeah. So. That was cool. I I like all I liked all of it. So. Um. Yeah. No. Uh. Just piggyback on on what both of you guys said. It, I guess in comparison to One Division, since One Division was so out there in new territory, this is kind of safe Marvel. Um. So it's very um did feel like it was Winter Soldier or um. Reddit. Uh. Civil War. So. Uh, my one of my favorite things I liked out of it was the Winter Soldier theme. Hearing that that song again, uh, it's cool. It's like one of my favorite songs from this, just Avengers stuff in general. But um, the one thing I did catch, I had to go look it up. Um, the guy in the beginning, who the who they are attacking, I thought he was. I'm like, he looks familiar. He was in Winter Soldier. Yeah. So he was He's the. the guy. The fight against Cap. Yeah, he he was the first guy that Captain America fought in Winter Soldier. So You're talking about that, um, George St. Pierre. Yes. Yeah. 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 So I thought I thought it was cool because I'm like, well, I'm like, he looks familiar. Like, like as far as like in Marvel goes, I, I know he's mm. you know UFC thing, but I was I was just like I was like yeah, but um, no, I just thought that was cool. Um, so some interesting things I guess that they're doing the. Well, if it follows the comics, if it goes the same, like the same route uh, as Wandavision, which is borrowing from it, then these might not come to fruition. But I guess the dude who's giving him intel, um, the Torres kid, or whatever, yeah. uh, in the comics, when Falcon takes up the mantle of Captain America, that becomes that guy's his Falcon. So we'll see yeah. if that like kind of plays out, and then. I guess F Flag Smasher is an actual villain in the comics, and n now it's like a faction. So th th they turned Flag Smasher into the Flag Smashers as a group. So that was just like the one thing that I saw. My little nod. But I guess the funny thing that's kind of trending of Phase 4 so far, because we'll see where Black Widow takes it, uh, just seems to be uh, mental health. Because <laughs> uh, everything is like dealing with the trauma and all that stuff, so... Uh, as far as uh, Bucky's got the whole dealing with his past thing, Wanda was just dealing with grief, and then as far as uh, Falcon right now, um, I guess it's just him dealing with the fact that he's brought back to f from five years, and the world's kind of different, yeah. kind of. So he's just trying to cope with that. The whole thing. I, th I thought it was cool. You got to see like uh, his family, like his sister and his nephews, like 
And then I guess the thing that's kind of sad is, like, you find out they don't make any money. Like, they kind of just do the superhero thing for... Out of the kindness of their heart, which is... I mean, good for them, but at the same time, like, fucking messed up. The government doesn't fucking pay them. <laughs> like, it's like... Right. Wow. I was like, holy shit, like, I never thought about that. You've been gone for five years. <laughs> yeah. You don't exist. Yeah, I was like, fuck, dude, that's fucked up. Um, and then... Well, I mean, that was just kind of it. You, you guys want to break down the episode, or... Because it was an hour. I did like that it was 50 minutes versus the, the original 30 you got from the first Wanda Vision episode. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, for, for this one, I don't think there's, like, a huge breakdown, I don't think. Um, nothing well, you know what? huge to me, at least. There was a lot of, like, um, Easter eggs in the end credits. Like, the all the... Like, they had, like, stuff that was, like, that was referencing different parts of the Marvel Universe that they might be um, delving into. Okay. I don't know, necessarily in this series, but maybe in future Marvel projects. Like, they're talking about, like, if there's, a, like, Iron Wars with um, War Machine and stuff like that. So, mm-hmm. who knows what, what where they're going to um, explore all that, that, um, that realm of the Marvel Universe and bring it out to fruition, you know? So, we'll see. Um, I thought it was cool that we got to see uh, War Machine, and in, in I didn't expect. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't yeah. really expect him to pop up. Um, which it makes sense yeah. in the long run that he would, but I, I just didn't like. That was like a cool, like oh cool, he's in this. So, um, glitch number two, gotta love fucking <laughs> this Orbi system. Anybody who updated the Orbi routers, if this update has fucked with you too. Let me know because this shit's fucking annoying. I'm guessing this uh, podcast is not sponsored by Orbi. The hell no. <laughs> and if they want to, send me a better fucking router. Because um, I spent too much fucking money for this shit to be doing this. Um, so what was I saying before it went out? It was... How about Winter Soldier? The fact of Winter Soldier. I don't remember where your point No, was. but like where I was going with I said it was cool to see like his backstory with his family and his sister. Oh, that's a yeah. That's a cool thing about these shows is that they they're able to delve into those backstories, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, I was gonna say like, the thing with Winter Soldier and the the dude that he's with right now, um, how he killed his son. Mm-hmm. So. Do you guys think that's going to be solved in the series, like in this in this episode, like in the se- like in this, or do you think that's going to like linger? I don't know. I, don't I haven't know. really thought about that, but I think I think it'll it'll be solved within him and the old guy by the end. Yeah, looks like it's going to be a set for like a sad scene. Dude, that sucks, yeah. man. I could I couldn't, man. Bucky has it hard, man. I thought my life sucked. And then you're just like, Jesus, dude. Like, anybody this dude gets close to, he's done something to them. Or a family member. It's fucking terrible. It takes it back to, well, I think he sought him out because he know he know who he knew who he was. He sought him out to try to make amends for yeah. killing his son. Because he didn't have any control when he killed his son. And it goes back to the line in um, Civil War where Captain America... So, I mean, I'm sorry, where Iron Man told uh, Winter Soldier, do you even remember them? And Winter Soldier goes, I remember all of them. Because he, he knew he knew what he was doing, but he couldn't, couldn't, couldn't stop, stop himself so. from what yeah. he was doing. Yeah, so that's a, that's a really cool aspect and that, like, it's something cool they could like, delve into, you know? Yeah. Did any of you guys, like, I know with the, this whole, all the stuff that's been going on specifically with the uh, Asian Americans and stuff like that, did any of you, by chance, when when he was going to kill the guy, were any of you just like, no, no, don't, don't, don't do it? Uh, like, yeah, I know no. it's not supposed to be a funny thing, but just knowing in the back of my head, with everything going on, I was just like, I hope they're not going to do this right now. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah they, they did it, and I was like, oh, man. Kind of bad timing, I, I think. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't fault. the main... He wasn't the main target, though, huh? The, the, no, he, no, was, he was, was just at, he was just at the wrong place, the wrong time. And that's it was, why uh, it's because they have yeah. to they can't leave any witnesses, so he yeah, missed what happened. Yeah, yeah. and take uh, takes out everybody in the room. 
Yeah. That's why I was just like, Ugh. kind of cringe in a sense, but yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna try to watch it again before I go to bed tonight. I want to watch just see that those scenes again. Those are some cool scenes. There, yeah. So. Oh, it was, it cool was good. I mean, the, the the thing at the end, <laughs> it's just pretty funny because I can't unsee it now. I saw it when I first saw it, too. I'm like, he looks like the dude from Up. But U.S. agent, like, it's a John Walker, I believe his name is. Uh, he, the, the, the just the, the profile that they, they used for that shot, he looks like Carl from Up. Like, literally. He like, does. Yeah. It's, it's bad. But, um... Yeah, the old the, mansion. That that was like the 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 basically like the twist of the episode is in the beginning. You think, well, you, they do the end game scene audio wise where Sam gets the shield and he has the same bag and everything, and then he ends up turning it up to the government to put it in a museum, and at the end of the episode they give it to somebody else. So, yeah. have you ever gone to that- California Adventure and met Captain America? No, because he's not, it looks like that dude. Like one of those. Oh, uh, <laughs> US agent. <laughs> the cosplay players look better than that dude. Yeah, I, we ran too. into people at San Diego that that look better <laughs> than that dude. So it was funny though. It was. It's cool. It's like it's like I want to know where they're gonna go with the oh, like yeah, what direction sure. they're gonna well, go. Well, did you? With, I don't because so. I, I know you stay away from spoilers and stuff. But did you see the interview they had when they did the D twenty three stuff and they asked them about the characters and all they said? No, was, no I, all he said was why he wanted to play the character. John, the the guy that's playing Captain America, or the, no, no, the guy America? that's playing the the U.S. agent, like he said that, yeah, he, that, had, that he, he had an interesting story, just saying that like that he, the the way he perceives the world, he said it was like something that he wanted to that he wanted to play on on screen and, and like dive in because he said that it's like a like yeah. interesting take on what his view of America is. Yeah, um, I I've, I've seen some origins origin stuff on um, some channels as far as the origins of the U.S. agent. And how he's more violent and stuff like that. So I, I I would like to see that aspect of the Captain America, like the, how they explore that. Because well, like I said, like my my um my my grievances with uh, Justice League were that they were too violent. Where Captain America is more subdued, you know what I mean? So to see a more violent Captain America would be kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, but I just, I'm just wondering. Not supposed to be like that. I'm wondering if this is going to be similar to, I mean, I know it's it's DC, but like if you remember the Nightfall comic where Oswald took yeah. the spot for Batman, I wonder if it's going to be like that, where he's like just too violent to have the mantle and then they're going to try to take it away from him. But, yeah. So we'll see. It's interesting. Um, I know some people don't like the direction it's going because it's kind of hitting close to home with what's going on right now. So yeah, you can kind of see the shades of that, which I'm okay with, but I mean... Maybe it'll be like uh, like the boys too, which just way way watered down because we know they won't go that far. But yeah, we'll see. It's not the... Disney. <laughs> no, well Disney, but not under the this studio. It'd be more of a yeah. Hulu thing, or if they bring back Miramax. <laughs> Miramax, what's a Miramax? Is that a nap? <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised they don't like. Well, actually, I'm not surprised. There's a there's too much negative connotation with that with that name. Um, but yeah, no, it's, uh, it's interesting. We'll see where this is going to fit. Um, I believe they said it's seven episodes, so. I thought it was six, but yeah. that'd be cool. Was it six? I thought um, it was seven. I hope it's seven. I mean, I hope you're I right. More, the seven. more the better. Yeah. Well, I'm just wondering if they're going to be, um, all 50 minutes again. Cause. Yeah. Oh, no, I like that. I it did... is six. You guys are right. Oh. That's the time I was hoping that you were right, and I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm hope I'm hoping. We'll see. I I just don't know if, at the same thing, if we're gonna end up, if they're gonna do a um, assembled for this. Like I still haven't watched the Wanda one. I need to. But um, oh yeah, they they already have a Falcon, Winter Soldier, Zemo, um, and I think Agent. What's her name? Agent. Oh, Agent thirteen. 13, yeah. Oh no, not, not yeah. Marvel Legends. I'm talking about Marvel Assembled. The, the oh, oh yeah. The one, right. the the making of. So um, okay. I'm hoping they do do that. I, I just wonder if it'll come out the same thing. So it, like, because they were in the middle of filming this. I think it's the later episodes. So I want to say maybe episode three and on is going to be 
like it was already the pandemic. Because they were in the middle of this, and then they had to stop because... Because they were in Prague, right? Yeah, they were in Prague, and then yeah. uh, that Europe was the first to shut down, so they had to stop. Yeah. So, we'll see. I just wonder if it's going to have the same effect. Because it's now coming to light that with WandaVision, there was a whole... The finale was, like, written differently, but because of the pandemic, it, it, it ended up being different. Did you guys catch that? Did they no. do another episode of Assembled? No, but it was just, like, other from interviews of the people. Like, now they're just, like, talking about it. That, like, apparently... So, the cat was supposed to be a demon. Like, they actually had shot film for it. So, I guess there was supposed to be a B-plot in the in the finale, which was supposed to be... Um, Monica, Darcy, and Jimmy were trying to get were trying to get the Darkhold book away from Agatha. Uh, that was going to be a, a okay. B-plot. And, then, and that's when it would have been revealed that the cat was a demon. And I guess they had shot a scene for it, but they couldn't... Because of the pandemic, they couldn't, like... The VF, the, I guess they did the special effects, but it wasn't up to the standards that they wanted for the show, so they just cut the scene. Which is why she just, well, it's because it explains how Monica's like in the beginning and then like kind of in the middle, and she's just in the house. And I'm like, well, that's kind of weird. She's just in the house. And that's, that's okay, why. Yeah. So that's why I guess it would have eventually led up to there, and then it would have been the Ralph Boner reveal, and something else probably would have happened. So the only thing that's saying, being said is the, the, um, cat was supposed to be a demon, but I guess other people are trying to say that. People are clinging to that Mephisto, <laughs> Mephisto thing, and they were saying that that's what would have revealed Evan Peters is that, but who knows? It, it still worked, I guess. Yeah, no, it was still good. I'm, I'm just saying. I just wonder, like, where that's gonna if that's gonna if that's also gonna affect Falcon and Winter Soldier. But as far as like effects go, I mean, I know there is a lot, but it, it's not on the same. It doesn't at least right now. It doesn't seem like it's on the same level as WandaVision was because of the magic and stuff like that and all the other stuff. But that first uh, Falcon scene, though, that's that was pretty pretty nice. That's movie. Oh yeah, def- definitely. And I I do like uh, that they brought back the Red Wing drone. That was pretty cool. Like the continuity. So, um, I guess I mean I tried to make it as fast as possible. So, I think we did pretty good. I'm trying to keep that battery time for. Hey, this battery is actually pretty, pretty decent. So, so mm. um, but tomorrow, I think it's a midnight or maybe eight p.m. Uh, Kong versus Godzilla or Godzilla versus Kong comes out. Is it out? It, it comes out tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's, it's I think it's supposed to be for Friday, but it'll come out tomorrow at midnight or I don't know if they do the four hour thing because I think Justice League had come out at eight o'clock last Thursday. Well, I'm not off till. Monday, so yeah, it's up to you. I mean, we'll we'll see. I I'm working all early shifts again, so I'm free for whenever. But if you guys down to just watch it together, or if you want to live stream it, at least the audio. Well, for copyright. If, it, if it's gonna be a topic, then I'm down to watch it. Yeah. I'll try. Um. Yeah, just, it just depends on the time. You guys want to get together and watch it. Um. Um. Yeah, I should be I should be available for that. Okay, well, since this was a fast episode, I might be able to put this one up tonight. So we'll see. But uh, cool. with that said, thanks for uh, watching, guys. Sorry that I had the two hiccups again. Uh, thanks, Orby. Yeah, fuck you, Neckier. <laughs> thanks a lot. Um, so with that said, um, see you guys next time, and uh, have a good night. Yeah. Good night, guys.